Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I'm going to share a Valentine's card featuring a lot of non-Valentine type of product. I have been wanting to do a card combining the Elephants from Elfie Selfie and Wild for You for a while. And it just kind of, I thought that the gray of the Elephants would look really nice with pink. And so the card was kind of just created from that idea, just combining different products to create a Valentine's themed card. We're going to start with the Stitched Cloud Backdrop in the Landscape format, and I die cut this from some Bristol Smooth cardstock. Kind of an up in the clouds, love themed type of card is what I was going for here. I'm going to add some color to my background. I wanted it to be very, very soft and very light. I started with Spun Sugar Distress Ink and then I'm going to blend in a little Picked Raspberry Ink as I'm working here, kind of down near the bottom where the cloud border is going to meet the cloud backdrop background. That's where it's going to be the darkest. I used the Bristol Smooth cardstock because the inks blend beautifully on this cardstock. They go on really smooth. I get a nice transition from one color to the other. I'm really concentrating the ink on the top two thirds of the background. I will spritz this with water from a distress sprayer. It's not going to make a huge impact because this is light ink, but it will lighten up a few areas, just a little bit there but it definitely is a much more subtle effect than it would be on a darker inked background. Next, I have die cut some borders and I did this off camera using the Puffy Cloud borders, two borders from Smooth White cardstock and one from Vellum. I love to layer them like this and it gives a great place to tuck the critters in between the cloud borders, kind of like they're sitting up there in the clouds. We're gonna go ahead and stamp the greetings next. And I am combining greetings, starting with the Valentine's Day greeting from the Happy 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 add-on. We're gonna stamp this with some lobster red ink. And this is an example of kind of making your greeting stamps work for you. I'm gonna stamp the Valentine's Day greeting first and then above that, we're gonna take a greeting from Elfie Selfie and use only a portion of it to make the greeting for this card. I want it to read, have an unforgettable Valentine's Day. The greeting actually reads in Elfie Selfie, have an unforgettable day. So I'm going to center the part of the greeting I want to stamp above the word Valentine's Day, use a little piece of post-it tape to cover up the word day in this phrase because I don't wanna stamp it, ink up my stamp with some black ink and then stamp that right there above Valentine's Day to finish up the greeting. So here is my background. Next, we want to stamp all of the images that we're gonna be using. And I went ahead and did that off camera just to save a little time. I inked up two of the elephants and the mouse plus the little flag banner from Elfie Selfie and then both of the elephants and the mouse from Wild For You. And I stamped these on smooth white cardstock with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I'm coloring these in with Polychromos colored pencils. You could use any colored pencils that you wanna use. I have recently got these Polychromos and have been trying them out. I will tell you one huge difference for me personally is there's no waxy buildup with these colored pencils. So when you color over a black line, you're not gonna get that waxy buildup that dulls it, which I really, really love. I'm using Gamsol to blend out the colors and really working those colors together. I wanted lighter areas with darker areas for my elephants, but I had to work to get those colors to kind of blend and move, plus the nice light flesh color, which is a nice lightish pink for the inside of the ear and cheeks on my elephants. All four elephants are gonna be colored exactly the same way. I'm only gonna color two of them on camera to save some time. 
the colors I'm using are also all shown in the bottom left corner of the screen. I'm using Warm Gray, Warm Gray 3, Warm Gray 2, and Light Flesh. So again, I like to go in with my darkest color first, kind of lay down where I naturally think that it might be a little bit darker. I went in with my mid-tone next and just kind of blended out really sloppy coloring. Nothing special here because the Gamsol is really gonna do the work for me. Blend these colors together and give me that soft, smooth, perfect finish. I've promised more colored pencil videos this year and so I'm really trying to stick to that. I love my colored pencils and I'm really excited about this colored pencil set. So when the elephants are all finished, and I did even go back over parts of the elephants that I've already colored and darkened up a few areas where I felt like it needed a little bit more color, I'm gonna color in the mice next. And again, I kind of kept everything very neutral, lots and lots of grays. I wanted to switch it up just a tiny bit to give them a little bit of a different um, coloring. I don't think it's real noticeable, but they are gonna be slightly darker. And that's because I'm pulling in some cool gray as opposed to all the warm grays I used for the elephants. So just a tiny bit of cool gray. I'm also implementing that warm gray marker. A little bit of the light flesh for the cheeks. I don't think it shows up quite as good on the mice as it does on the elephants, but I wanted it to be pretty subtle. If, they are, if the mice are not dark enough, I even went back over these again with the co uh, cold gray marker to darken that up. My little flag is gonna be colored with a couple of colors of red. This is gonna be my nice pop of red. We've got the light soft pink background, the nice neutral grays of the elephants and mice, and then the pops of red are gonna come with part of the greeting, and then the scattering of hearts and this little red flag banner. I have die cut all of the images with the coordinating Elfie Selfie and Wild For You dies and now I am just kind of laying everything out. I'm popping all of these pieces out, laying out my supplies and seeing if it works. Now this elephant did not die cut all the way through so I'm going to line my die back up, run this through my die cutting machine real quick so that he is all the way cut out. You could also probably use your scissors if you needed to. Before I adhere anything, I decided to go ahead and use the stamp platform to stamp some of the hearts for the background. And I did this just a couple of times before I realized this was going to be kind of more work um, than it needed to be. So instead of continuing doing this, I'm going to take everything off my stamp platform, go ahead and put the majority of the design together and then come back and add in some of these hearts to really fill in the background to give that feeling of love and Valentine's Day and give that great pop of color. I am coloring these hearts directly on the background because it's this really light, soft pink. Anything you color over it is really gonna cover that up. It's gonna be very easy to color over it which is perfect. There are not coordinating dies for either of these particular hearts. Now there are many, many other Lawn Fawn stamp sets. If you want to actually die cut your hearts, you could grab one of those and stamp and color and die cut your hearts if you wanted to actually have them um, be a separate piece. I really thought this was the quickest and easiest way to do it. And I'm all about getting that card finished and getting it done. So I think this is about the last heart that I did this way when I realized this was crazy. I was having to clean my stamp every time and move it and I just, it runs the risk of smudging the background, which kind of scares me. Um, after you've gone through all the work of the background inking and stamping the greeting and all of that. So I really felt like I would just stamp all the rest of those hearts later. I'll go ahead and color in these two right now so you can kind of get an idea of how awesome that background's gonna look. I wasn't so sure about the background until I filled it with hearts and then it really kind of sang to me. I thought that was perfect. 
that gave it the finished complete look. So let's go ahead and put it all together, starting with the cloud, the puffy cloud borders along the bottom edge. I've got a white border first, then a vellum border, and finally my last white cardstock cloud border. Next, we're gonna tuck elephants into the clouds. I started with kind of my main elephant that's holding the little flag. And then I decided to add some detail to all of my little critters or all the elephants anyway with a white jelly roll pin and i'm just going in and adding some really fun dot detail all over and this adds so much to these sweet cute little elephants this is something i would probably do with a the same color of marker if i was doing it with copic markers but here, it's probably been three or four years ago when I was using my colored pencils a lot. I would do this all the time where I took a white pen and I would add these little dots to my critters. So this is kind of a throwback to something I used to do a lot. And I found I really enjoyed it. I think it adds so much to these cute little guys. Another thing that I did to dress up my elephants is you will see I'll take a fine tip black marker and I'm going to add eyelashes to some of the elephants and one of the mice. I also took a black jelly roll pin and added detail to the noses on the mice to really make those pop. I think really the biggest difference between these polychromos colored pencils and the Prismacolors that I have used for years and years is the lack of the waxy buildup. And if that bothers you at all, which it did bother me, it was part of the reason I quit using them quite so much, is anytime I would color over a black line, which you can totally do with Copic markers or other markers, but it would dull the line and I just did not like that. So th it's really exciting to me that these colored pencils don't have that same um, waxy buildup when you color over things. A few more eyelashes on a couple of these cute little guys. And here I'm just taking an, the teeny tiny Lawn Fawn acrylic block and inking some hearts all over. And we just kind of want to fill it in, make it look natural, almost like these hearts are kind of coming up from the clouds. That was my thinking as I was designing this. And I even wanna add maybe one down here kind of closer to the elephants, give it a little bit more of a finished look. Now that little XOXO was actually die cut using the Stitched Heart envelope, little XOXO die. And this is something I had die cut for another project and did not use. And it's die cut from Fun Foam or glitter, silver glitter cardstock attached to Fun Foam, which is one of my favorite techniques for a dimensional greeting. And I love that little pop of silver. I liked the size of this XOXO. I thought it complemented the design of this card. So I went ahead and used it. So there's not really a step-by-step -step for that because it was something, it was a scrap basically. Something I die cut for another project and didn't use, but I did not want to throw it away because it was definitely something that could be used for something else. And I even stamped a little heart down there next to it that we're going to color in with these colored pencils. And then kind of to bring the silver glitter of the XOXO up into the rest of the design, we are going to go ahead and add some silver moon dust Nouveau crystal drops throughout. First, let's take some Nouveau crystal glaze and go ahead and put that a nice glaze, glossy finish over the hearts. You could also use glossy accents for this. This is gonna give them that awesome little glossy finished look once the liquid adhesive has dried but it doesn't have a ton of bulk and i really love how glossy and shiny they are when they are completely dry then we'll take those the silver moon dust nouveau crystal drops and add these throughout the top portion of the design even bring a couple little drops down a little closer to that xoxo but it really ties in nicely with the silver glitter of that die cut and I think it looks nice with the rest of the Valentine's feel of this card. Thanks for joining me today for this Valentine's themed card 
featuring non-Valentine themed product from Lawn Fawn. Please visit the Lawn Fawn blog for more inspiration and details. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.